everybody, my name is Alex from Hick Hardware. I'm gonna be starting a new video series where I clean older graphics cards like this GTX 1070. I'm going to start with a pre-cleaning benchmark to get a baseline for thermals and performance. Then I'm going to tear down this card entirely, clean out all of the dust and debris, replace the thermal pads, replace the thermal paste, and then do a post-cleaning benchmark to see if there were any improvements from all that hard work. What makes this video series interesting is I'm going to be showing not only the pre and post benchmark, but I'm also gonna be showing a sped up video of myself cleaning this video card. I have a lot of older GPUs waiting to be cleaned, so I'm excited to get these videos out there. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning this GTX 1070, so let's jump right into it and we'll get to the benchmarks after the cleaning. Thank you.
now that the GPU has been cleaned, let's take a look at the results. So in this case, the GTX 1070 pre-cleaning scored a little bit higher than post-cleaning. We have 15,992 for pre-cleaning, 15,766 for post-cleaning. These are so close that it's probably just the random chance in these tests. We can see anywhere from half a percent to 2% difference, but most of these scores are pretty close. I will say one thing that does show the effect maybe of the cleaning is the average temperature was three degrees cooler post cleaning. So maybe these run better when they heat up a little bit and it just didn't have enough time to really get into its groove. But either way, uh, it seems like there are some differences between the two. Somehow the first one scored higher. Uh, even looking at like some of the clock speeds here, it looks like it clocked a little bit higher here, but the average was lower. Um, and then again, the average memory clock frequency was higher. That might have also attributed to the higher temperature as well. So really everything's kind of up in the air here. I didn't necessarily expect to see a big difference. The card wasn't too bad. It was dirty. I mean, you could see in the video, it was just caked in hair and dust and just like those thermal pads start to like leak oil a little bit I think over time so there was just dirt mixed with the oil and it probably would have been you know not too much longer before it started to struggle but it's clean now and it has plenty of life left in it that this game can or this card can honestly play most games out here uh, recently. So those are the results and I'll have another GPU cleaning video coming out here shortly. They won't all be as nice as a GTX 1070. I say that, you know, that we're up to the you know 4000 series, but um, I've got a lot of older cards that are coming. So stay tuned. There's going to be some pretty cool old cards and it'll be interesting to see what those results look like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.